to someone who's not a railroader, that sign is really confusing. Yeah. That's one of those things that you don't think about as a railroader because it's part of your everyday gig or, or part of your job and it just becomes part of the terminology that you don't even think about. Do not hump. It sounds a little suggestive, doesn't it? Well, it's actually got a very practical meaning and a very practical purpose and it has to do with a type of train yard called a hump yard. That's right, a hump yard. Within the hump yard, many trains are humped every day many cars, hundreds of cars. There's metrics about how many cars can be humped within a single day and a single shift by a single crew. It's kind of an impressive and important thing, but what does that actually mean? Because it sounds like crazy talk so far, right? Well, what it actually means is that they push the cars up and over a hump. And so rather than a locomotive needing to couple into a big long cut of cars, 100 cars, go down a track, put some cars on that track, come back out, put some cars on that track, continuing on like that, rather than that, they shove, you know, cut a hundred cars up and over a hump, and as they get to the top, they pull the pin and let the cars roll down the hump via gravity. Line up a bunch of switches, sometimes hundreds of switches, depending on the size of the yard. The biggest ones that I've been to is a 68 track hump. So they push one train up and over, 68 tracks to sort it. You know, so you're in Kansas City, you're at Argentine Yard with that 68 track hump. One track might have a train that's bound for Chicago. Actually, probably like 10 or 15, but anyway. One track for Chicago, a track for St. Louis, a track for Denver, all sorts of stuff to sort the cars and their various trains into the various destinations. That's the whole business about manifest freight is that the cars come from one place and they might need to go somewhere else. Rather than a unit train operation where you've got 100 coal cars and the 100 coal cars just go from the mine to the power plant, you have a situation where you've got 15 cars for Chicago, 20 for Denver, 30 for Seattle, whatever it is, and you gotta sort them into their destination. That's done at the hump. But now why do the cars say, do not hump? Well, the secret there, this is a maintenance of way bunk car that we have on display at the Colorado Railroad Museum. And it's a car where maintenance of way crew could spend the night and was later used as an office. Think about it. If you push a train over the hump, it rolls down via gravity. When it gets to its destination in the sorting track, it might hit kind of hard, might couple kind of fast. There are special devices called retarders that are built into the track that slow down the cars before they couple up, but sometimes it can be a little rough. If you had somebody who was sleeping in the bunk, they got sent over the hump, I don't think they'd appreciate it. Same goes for cars that are holding automobiles, cars that are holding fragile things, all sorts of stuff like that. They all get marked, do not hump. So it's less silly and suggestive than you think and actually a very practical thing and just an example of railroad terminology that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to the public. So hopefully that was a little informative to you. And special thanks to my sister who is out here on vacation. And uh, this video is uh, in debt to her because she pointed it out and said, what the heck does that mean? And I said, it's a hump yard. You don't, you don't know what a hump yard is? Oh yeah, right, not a trained person. Thanks for watching, guys.